Good day, everyone. My name is Ogo Odusheson from KGIS. On today, I will be taking you through a, one of my valuable uh, phone gadgets, which I normally use for taking information. So just like the name of the gadget is, is called GPS Essential. What is GPS Essential? A GPS Essential is a special oriented mobile software usually used for locational navigation, data collection, mapping, and data manipulation. It supports both hydroid and Apple phones. This phone software is simply introduced to me by one of my mentors. Then I will tell you that I've been using this software quite a long time, let me say more than five years now. And for once, it has never disgraced me. And if you don't have this software on your phone, how I advise you to get it from your Play Store or any other. If you are using an iPhone, get it from where you know you can get it. Because then, but if you are using an Hydro phone, for instance, for instance, I'm using Samsung S10 Plus. Then how you need to go to my Play Store? This is my Play Store. Then I can just put it the way I would normally search it. I would search and put a uh, GPS Essentia. Essential, you see, then because I already have it on my, on my phone installed, what I'm going to do now that I'm not going to install it. But if you don't, you have if you don't have it on your phone, just click on install and load it. Once you load it, then it is ready to be used. Um, let me let me let me quickly go into my uh, my, my menu. Then, as you can see now, here's my GPS Essential. Then, I think. This is an interface of GPS Essential. One thing I'm going to tell you now, if you are newly installing it and if you are finished installing it on your, for, on your phone, I will advise you to click on this, these three parallel uh, lines that go to him. And I was going to say, one, two, three, this, I'm just talking of this one. Click, if you click on this, then it's going to bring out a, a list. Understand? From the list now, what you're going to do now is just to click on the settings you can see settings click on setting once you click on setting then what there are some other automated uh, configuration we that have been done by the gps essential by themselves but there's other thing you need to do by yourself to switch your whole use for instance now if you need to change the team just go ahead and do it if you need other thing but one of the thing i need or which i usually do anytime i newly change my phone or do anything my for uh, with my gps essential was this unit I will click on units, then as you see, it is so it is on kilometers, meter. Then you can see miles, yard, feet. Just just choose any one you want. But for me, I prefer my whole to my units to be on kilometer and meter. I just select once I do that. Then on my position that terms, on my position that terms, I will click on my position that term. Now you can see now the position that term. You can see different types of coordinate systems, um, different type of coordinate rotation. Then, for example, now you can say, but however, as it is now, I will advise you to use uh, what your the, the system. But if you don't wish to, like, if you wish to use any other one, just go ahead, scroll up. You can scroll down and see the choose your one, your preferable one, and just choose any one you like. Understand? Then, if it is, let me say, uh, we that are in Nigeria, there's something called Mino. Yes, you see, Mino. In the Nigeria, if you prefer to use your phone, click on this one. But how prefer? That one, uh, that's the uh, WGS1984. Then um, another one is the the position of the formant. The position of the formant. I click on the position of formant. Then you can see now, and this is decimal the degree minutes seconds, degree minute fractions, decimal UTM. Because I would prefer to use this UTM. Click on UTM. Anyone, if you want, you like. If you have MS MGRS, click on o, o, OSG. B36, choose any robot. I'm going with this UTM. Then, is there another thing you need to do? Is, is there any other thing you need to do? Just go ahead. But one of the more important settings that I actually do anytime high on GPS insertion, for those are the things. One is the position, the position formats, the, the position that terms, units. Then, then also sometimes I click on the what's it called, the bearing, then I'll prefer to be in the true notes. Then, then aside that one, there's nothing else for me to do here. But 
But for you as a learner, you can just go with that one. But the other thing I used also was that because because of this video now has to be very social. To be uh, and if you do, if you have done that, what you are going to do now, you will not see an interface of GPS in Asia. But one thing I like about this GPS in Asia is that um, it has a dashboard. If you click on this dashboard, yeah, you see now, you see there's nothing on it. The dashboard is empty, and tap here to add any elements. You can just go ahead. Then for you now to tap, to add any dash anything to you know what you just have to do now. You see this across inside the circle. You can click on this. You click on this. This cross inside the circle. If you click on it, now, it will ask you to select some other thing that I'm um, which other other elements you need to put on your dashboard. See the select the value you want to show on the dashboard. Then, if we wish to put the accuracy, put the accuracy, the level of accuracy, the altitude, click on it. Then, if you also wish to show the bearing, click on the bearing. Any other thing you need to, you wish you need to do, just click on it. Then, um, the reverse bearing, if you wish, just click on it. But the declination, I prefer to show. The, the date, I also prefer to show. And the distance covered. Then I also want that one to show. Then the latitude is very important. The longitude is very important. Then uh, which other one? And <laughs> this one is very important because anytime I'm like working, if I'm working, I also try to check the satellite. The number of satellites before you collect the data also matter. In very instance, if your satellite, if the total satellite at the present you want to collect the data is almost like 20, and the number of what the number of acquired satellite is five. However, you should not to collect it. At least the, the issue have been in the prior uh, was going to percentage of eighty percent. Like when I say eighty percent again, after that twenty now you should like be seeing like um eighteen or even fifteen if you see the fifteen satellites out of that twenty and then you can collect your data. But I would like to hone it my satellites. Then the position I also wanted the proximity I'll click on it. Then you can go ahead and see if you don't, if you want any other one, they want to use you want you really want to just click on it and if you don't just avoid on it. But let me not see um that's all that's all the thing I want to use. I will just click on the course. Then as you can see now, yes, you can see check here, check the number of the satellite. You see, after twenty one is giving me a seventeen now. Then with that if I can collect any data, I can do with that. But let me tell you something. I'm inside a room. Then that is one of the things I like this GPS in Asia because by using a very uh, effective smartphone, it will definitely give you the, the, the coordinates of where you use it for. Um, now, this is how to use GPS in Asia, and this is one of the things you need to do. And this is the dashboard. What you just have to do now, you can just click on back. Let's go on back now. And this is your dashboard if you want it to show. Then. And another thing is about this camera. There's a lot of things I'm going to teach you about this camera online for you because um, if I'm going to anyhow now, I don't I don't go along with books again or any chatter or anything where I will use to keep a record. No, I always go to my phone. There is not about just type. No, snapping a picture. Then you just want to snap that picture and the picture comes with to go with his own coordinates in anywhere you point one. Once you snap it, to come with own coordinate. Coordinate. Then I'll be stopping here for introduction aspect to GPS and Asia. Then on the next videos, I will explain how to use uh, the camera and other other functionalities in the uh, in this GPS and Asia. Thank you for watching. I still remember my humble self. I'm going to share some from Katia. Bye. See you next time.